right time to ride the unicorn. Let's do this. So I think we have three places? No, it looks like there's only one place. Okay. We're riding the unicorn mm -hmm. here. We have no choices. And the basilisk is taking a nap. <laughs> Doesn't look very vicious here. Yeah, now I feel kind of bad about having to destroy it. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get over it. So let's see. Um, some of these I don't quite understand how it works, but these ones, you can see I'm pushing buttons, so um, it turns these various things so they fit the outlines perfectly. Hmm. That head looks a little tricky. Oh. Yeah, I managed to get it. Yeah, you sure did. But it is tricky. Those those pieces greatly overlap each other. Right. Actually, this was the one which is kind of tricky, is figuring out where these pieces go. <laughs> so here we are in the aviary where we find three bird things and we have a bird houses. That's what we found. And now we have a hidden objects challenge. Looks like you need some flowers. Three red, three yellow. Yeah, I forget which item we get. Oh, here's a monkey. <laughs> nice. Why don't we have a monkey helper? Uh, the owl just wouldn't let it. I guess they would fight? They probably would. The owl would probably, like, peck at the monkey. Mm. Mm, looks like I need a handle. There's a handle. That's the item we get. The handle. Disconnected. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could hear. Um, that was the sound of him being disconnected, everyone. <laughs> and now the game is like five times quieter. Um, let me actually shut the game and start it up again. Okay. I, I think the audio is back. And it looks like I solved the hidden objects challenge. So what did you get out of that? I got the handle, and I don't quite remember if I did solve the Hidden Objects Challenge or not. Um, here's the second place we can go to, actually. Alright. Ew, there's Dreadmire. Evil. It's the Crystal Forge, which we are here for some reason. Right, okay, so it, it looks like we had to come up here to make the cockatrice egg. Okay. Which needs dragon fire because Dreadmire just stole that thing. Wow, his, ti his timing is impeccable. I know. <laughs> How does he know where we're going? He's always one step ahead of us. We're just finding a series of gears. Although the game is calling them spurs. I see that. I was thinking about the spurs on the back of cowboy boots. Yeah. What's this? Well, that's a switch. Yeah, no, it, it's going to keep calling them spurs. And... <laughs> This confused me. I thought we were done with that area. We can go right back inside. Oh, it kicks you out and then you go back in. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> My dearest Carrie, don't forget to bring the princess's bow to the parade when she returns. Right, the princess is an expert at using the bow and arrow for some reason. Mm. Well, she is an expert at a lot of things, from what I can see. Well, I remember it was at the end of the first game, like, that's how we learned she's good at the bow and arrow, is because they have a statue of her with the bow and arrow. Ah. 
So it's all, huh, why didn't she actually use that in this game? <laughs> she would have made her life easier. Um, let so, me see, this is one of those picky ones, right? I was just gonna say, what are you doing here? What's this? This is one of those challenges we've seen them in previous games, or I guess like in the third game, um, where you want to connect all of these lines. Have to do them in a very specific order, so that's that is obviously wrong. I like this puzzle, it's just if you don't have their solution, um, it's wrong. Right, right. Maybe I should this, do it. Maybe this will be it. Mm. No. There we go. Wow, that was just clicking it a little bit right. So that's our bow, and now it's broken. <laughs> Where else am I flying? I'm flying here. No, I'm not. I'm flying here. Because now that I have the gaff, I don't know what the fairy statue is there for. We're never gonna use it for anything or find items there. Oh, so this is where we get the grapes. Yeah. Huh. But the statue, I guess it's just here to look at. It looks pretty. Sure, why not? So with this puzzle, you want to click on the grapes, which are all only on the grapes which are connected to this brown vine. Wow. Okay. Ignoring like the two or three uh, green vines. Mm hmm. Getting us through the door that Dreadmire closed. He can't stop us. There's no way. Hmm. Okay, so this says avoid high temperatures, and we're just going to do the opposite. <laughs> Love it melt right through there. Wow. Actually, I like ah, this puzzle. Pipe dreams. This is one of the ones where I think you have multiple solutions. So you don't actually need to connect all the pipes. You just need to get a connection from this pipe to that pipe. Okay, I was just going to ask you that. When you don't have to use all of them, that's not too bad. Yeah. Right? Our connection is going to go there. Now it's going to go up. There we go. Wouldn't there be holes in that pipe system? There should be. Pipe things? water should be just coming out everywhere at this <laughs> point. <laughs> Looks like it. Use the gaff hook to get the key. The key's a different color than it is in the actual picture down there, which is kind of tricky. Mm. But I guess they figured you knew what it would be because you had to start the puzzle, trigger the puzzle by going Clicking to the key. It? Yeah. I don't know. Changing colors like that, that's sneaky. Also, oh, this is... Oh, okay. Let's Unless guess. I'm mistaken, oh, we don't have a gaff? Okay, never mind. We can't reach this thing. I was going to see if the gaff can work, but apparently it doesn't. I like how the princess just uses items once and then throws them away. <laughs> Very wasteful. Well, some of the items she keeps for a while, you know, somehow she knows this item's going to have multiple uses. She can see into the future. <laughs> Maybe the owl tells her to do it. Okay, so this is the branch we got from chapter number one. Oh, wow. This is cool. I like this. And now we have to just connect the dots. That's sort of what it is. 
doesn't have to be perfect. Carving a new ball. Yeah. I think this is where the game starts to get more challenging in that um, you don't actually use all of the items here. Oh. Where's the other wing? This wing. And those other four items are just for show. I see, yeah. Mm, Pocket Dragon's doing stuff now. He just disappeared. Well, no, he found something of interest. All the way over here. Clever. He really only has one trick, right? Burn everything? Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Just don't tell him we could have easily moved the tapestry aside. <laughs> yeah, or used a dagger to cut through the middle or something. Yeah, yeah we, we could have done a lot of different things. <laughs> Oh, we have the incubator parts, all three of them. Huh. I guess I should have noticed that earlier. What do we do now, Your pocket Fawn? dragon? I just saw him fly into the windmill, Your Highness. Oh no, she's talking about that. The guard is busy. Okay, what am I doing now? Oh, I have arrows for my bow and arrow now. Okay. Sorry, I'm confused. I forget when I got arrows. I remember fixing the bow. That was a puzzle. <laughs> I don't remember Whoa. the getting arrows. It looks like this is going to be a reoccurring puzzle throughout the entire game. We had one in mm. chapter one. Yeah, we did. Dragon face. That's kind of neat, actually. It's related to the tapestry, at least. Well, the first one was a heart, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it was a lot simpler than that one. So this Petrified. Is the dragon, yeah, it's been turned to stone. Wow. Oh, I remember this. This is a skip worthy puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's it's just like that puzzle um, I said earlier where uh, you need to put all the pieces in place, but some of the pieces are just there for decoration. They're not actually part of the puzzle. Oh, wow. Yikes. Maybe that one you've got there, yeah. Yeah, it looks like that one must be fake. Um, it can't be. It's the only piece. There we go. Oh, there you go. And it's sort of a three-dimensional puzzle, but I can handle that. Hmm. It's pretty cool, actually. Looks like this is an unnecessary piece. That piece goes there, not to be confused with that piece, which sort of looks pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> it sure does. Five pieces are unused. That is kind of cruel the way they do that. Wow. Because she could be trying to make those fit for a long time. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Are we making popcorn? What did yep. we just make there? We're making popcorn. <laughs> nice. Now that we have the eight teeth, we can fix the dragon. Oh, wow. This is a mix, mix, mix and match the teeth puzzle. Not too bad. There we go. That looks perfect. Mm -hmm. That looks better. So now we're a dragon dentist? Yeah. I don't know what the 
of symbols on it mean, but aw. This is where we see the baby dragons. Oh yeah, that's right. Men and dragons live together harmoniously, achieving many great things together. That ended when Dreadmire attacked, leaving only dust and echoes. So, not only is Dreadmire attacking the kingdom, he ruined our friendship with dragons. He's just evil. I am digging the other baby dragons, though. How do we borrow them? <laughs> I don't think we can take Aww. them. But I think we can I... use Pocket Dragon here. Up somehow? Do I use the incubator the... here? I use the incubator here. Now, now uh -huh. that this is one of those three-dimensional puzzles. So you, you can, can rotate it too. Yeah, where you can turn everything around. There's one like this in Nancy Drew, um, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Hmm. I haven't played that one yet. That was per perfect. Well, it wasn't. Um, no, it was upside nope. down, obviously. <laughs> that one might be upside down, too. This one's probably upside down as well. Yeah. Higher up like that. Alright. Final piece is this one, right? Looks like it. Finally, we get this egg. Yay. Incubated. And it's a little tiny bird. And we just keep the essence of fire with us. Oh, cool. We're Carry just going to leave the days. dragons here. But we have our pocket dragon, so that's good. Yeah, you think we would return a dragon to them? You've hatched the cockatrice. Wonderful. But it's still a chick. Oh, that's right. You can make a potion of growth using the alchemy table in the windmill. I believe there's a book of formulas in there somewhere, your highness. We're gonna grow the chick into an adult. Sounds like fun. Let's see if I remember this. Book pages, book pages, book pages. Oh, this one's covered up. There it is. No need flowers. So the book pages were the ones we actually needed, but flowers are nice too, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Since we're tidying up. Yeah, and now the animals. have to flip all the way back to the first page, which is wow. nice of them not to start off on the first page. Sure. Blue and yellow. I mean, blue and white. Big pink? Yeah. So it looks like this one is red and white? Yeah, I'm thinking white. Kind of looks white. Yep. Brown, pink, and then blue. And then this one is just guess. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Well, we have to make all three colors, don't we? Yeah, purple, red. I'm guessing that's it. That's not it. Try all the vials, or all the test tubes. Um, wait, what if it's red? This and that one's yellow. Yellow, pink, red, purple. Oh no, I did this perfectly in practice. <laughs> <laughs> red. Is that it? That's it, okay, there no you pink, go. that's it. So the cockatrice doesn't want to drink it because it looks nasty. <laughs> but it loves popcorn, so... 
That is awesome. Let's go take a bath in the popcorn. Wow, it works pretty fast, too. What a fine cockatrice, your highness. Now, you have to find a way to lead it to the basilisk. I hope you saved some sable corn. You could hang bird feeders around and bait them. Everybody likes their popcorn, apparently. Yep. So this is a, I feel like I guess... we should just have... We have the perfect this... amount of bird feeders, yeah. <laughs> Uh, couldn't we just like hang one above its head and on a stick and kind of lure it wherever we want to go? Couldn't we just leave you know a trail what? of popcorn? <laughs> True. Let's see, bird feeder goes here. With a crash, the feathers flew and scales shed as the two mythical beasts collided. With the cockatrice's help, Princess Sophia could finally move onwards. Hooray! We did it. But the doors are locked. Aww. The basilisk is now petrified. It got its just desserts, though, so that's good. Your Highness, the ballista is ready to fire again. But its viewfinder broke, and we need to find a new bolt to load. Once we've taken care of those, we can get into the castle. He's not a very good captain. Okay, here's We the need a crystal binder. bolt head to replace the one that shattered when the windmill was shot down, Your Highness. I wonder if he blames us for destroying the one he has now. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had to use that one, though. It's not our fault. No, exactly. All right, we use the essence of fire for this puzzle, similar to whatever puzzle it was earlier where we had to do this. Oh, yeah. No, it was the bow, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the Is bow. That the one about? Yeah. All right, I did it. Okay, so one way to just spam it is to just run your thing everywhere. Okay. It only checks to make sure you've run it in the correct places. It doesn't check to make sure that you haven't run it in wrong places. Ah. So you could really just paint the screen if you wanted to. Yeah. And that would be acceptable. <laughs> okay. Oh, now we have the bolt. I guess we have to shoot another Everything's island, ready, is that the idea? The ballista just needs some calibrations, then I can get you into the castle. If you'll follow me, please. Actually, we need to get inside the castle. We're gonna shoot the front doors of the castle. Mm. That seems... Your Highness, we have to calibrate the targeting scope I before see. we shoot the gates open. Please help me spot 12 target boards on the castle ramparts. That's a huge castle. Sure is. We need to find all of the targets. Which is tricky because they'll reappear and disappear. This one's giving me trouble. Uh, wow. And actually, it's kind of sad, but Hint Owl is useless here. Uh, yeah, I guess what can he do? Is... Whoa. Didn't mean to pause the game. No, I mean, Hint Owl will, uh,. We'll do that. He'll point out a location of a board that I already found. Ah, uh, okay. There was one there at some point, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... That's what Hint Owl does for this entire puzzle, so it's not too useful. There's one... There it is. There's that final one. Nice. If you get stuck on that puzzle... Oh. the princess took her first steps into Skyward Castle. All was quiet, for the castle had been abandoned a hundred years. Whoa. Still, something told Princess Sophia that she was not alone. Strange. Hmm. It says the castle had been abandoned for a hundred years, which is how long she was asleep. 
Yep. But when we go inside, we're gonna see people inside there, and they obviously didn't just, like, show up recent... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> they came we in finish... a big bus, I don't know. We finished the chapter. Yay! Yay!